Hello and welcome to the Edu Leaders show on the Edu Bulletin where we bring you the latest insights and trends from the world of education. I'm Daisy and I'm excited to guide you through this episode. We have an esteemed guest joining us, Mr. Ponturu Anil Kumar, the principal of Pragnya Global School, Jagtiel. In our interview, Mr. Ponturu Anil Kumar shares his positive experience attending the 20th Education Summit, highlighting the valuable learning from workshops and panel discussions. Despite being in a rural area, his school offers metro-level infrastructure and has seen significant achievements, including students excelling in regional science competitions and being selected for the Uvika Young Scientist Program by ISRO. He expresses gratitude for the opportunity to lead the school and acknowledges the collective effort of the staff and students. Now, let's move directly into our interview. Over to you, Rumani. Let's hear what Mr. Ponturu Anil Kumar had to say. So we have with us Mr. Ponturu Anil Kumar. He is the principal of Pragnya Global School. Welcome to the summit, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. So first of all, how is your experience here attending the 20th Education Summit? It's been quite wonderful and uh, uh, here the experience is worth uh, learning a lot of things from the eminent personalities who have come over here uh, and the workshops are very lively and the panel disc discussions are so knowledgeable. Right, absolutely. So like you mentioned that you have you are coming from a rural area yeah. so how is it you know coping up with the challenges of today and uplifting the your school so tell me about your experiences there. Sure, ma'am. Actually, first of all, I would like to thank our correspondent, sir, Mr. Janaga Manil Kumar Garu, uh, who has given me the opportunity to be the principal of Pragna Global School. Of course, the school is set up in a rural area, but the facilities and the infrastructure, whatever we are giving, it is a metro level infrastructure and uh, whatever the vision and mission of the school is there, it is clearly visible in the uh, designing of the curriculum as well as in the construction of the building also so yeah of course uh, we hail from the rural area but we are giving very tough competition to the metro schools from our school this year four students uh, got selected to the regional science level competitions and uh, there they have excelled and uh, Two of our students got selected to UVCA science program which is organized by ISRO uh, which is a pride to us and uh, really it has been a quite uh, wonderful experience working at Pragna and uh, I, I will be very thankful to the Edu Bulletin uh, who has given us an opportunity to talk about our school. Thank you, sir, for telling us about the initiatives. And uh, you have been uh, nominated for the award today. So congratulations for that. And uh, how's your ex uh, like expectations? Like, how's your reaction to that? Yes, uh, I'm feeling, uh, to be honest, I'm a little uh, uh, overwhelmed as well as uh, I'm a little bit of uh, scared coming to such a big platform. Of course, uh, this is my third time receiving such an award from uh, Times to Grow as well as uh, the other organizations. Uh, but uh, the uh, entire credit for this goes to the school as because of the school or uh, school itself, I am over here and uh, whatever the plans we are doing, the teachers are executing it and the students are able to uh, accomplish whatever the task we are giving and today in our area Jagityal district area the school is uh, being the top in academics sports co-curricular activities so all those things is helping me out and giving me an opportunity to be nominated for such awards thank you ma'am Congratulations and with honor comes the responsibility and we are sure that you will be able to fulfill all of those. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. 
Thank you for joining us for this enlightening discussion. We hope you found it as insightful and inspiring as we did.